In this video, we're gonna talk about Tokyo Revengers Christmas Showdown Arc Episode 11. Yeah, there's a... You gotta have a reason to cheer for this episode. Alright. It has probably one of the most satisfying gear shifts in all of the anime. So, keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. Uh, just like I said a while ago, it has one of the most satisfying sequences <laughs> probably in the entire anime so far. So first order business, the thumbnail. This was it. <laughs> Finally, Kisagi gets kicked out of Toman. At si Mikey pa mismo nagsipa sa kanya. Mikey showed some balls here. Truly satisfying sequence, right? Kaya ako ginawang thumbnail ito. We're not going to get ahead of ourselves, guys. This is not the only sequence in this episode. So, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of this one. Face! Now, for a change, Tokyo Revengers had this, um, this slow but satisfying pacing. As in the aftermath of the, uh, the Blood Halloween, the aftermath of the, the Battle of August 3rd, and of course, ngayon. Okay? Or every once in a while, naglalawa sila ng ganitong pacing. Do I have complaints? Nah, sanay na ako eh. And besides, right, Tisaki is getting fired here. Okay lang kung may slow, play, slow pacing kasi uh, due to the sequences that were, um, uh, that, were, that were laid out here. And you really need a slow pacing to make the viewer understand what is totally going on. Right? So again, no complaints about the pacing. So, yeah, talagang, uh, I would totally expect this kind of a pacing from Tokyo Revengers after a, um, <clears throat> uh, after a major showdown with a big gang. So, naman, first gear shift. Uh, no brainer. Kisaki's appeal. It's obvious that this is a gear shift. Bakit? Kasi, while Kisaki is explaining his side, uh, of course, uh, 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 he's defending his, uh, his own side of the story, may lumalabas sa sequences dun from, uh, from season 1 that validates the claim of those telling it. These same backstory sequences automatically became explainers. <clears throat> Okay, so wow, uh, uh, that was one, uh, that was one well-executed gear shift. Kumaga, hindi uh, nalikis yung attention ng viewer to um, yeah, to totally enjoying Isaki's plea. <laughs> right? It's quite a satisfying gear shift to, the, to tell you the least. Right? And for those. Uh, and for Lila Deals to make it a split screen format, sa uh, upper screen eh, yung mga, yung mga kwento ng mga 2017 uh, selves nila Draken, uh, and I think nila, nila, sa mga 2017 na characters, validating Kisaki's, um, uh, Kisaki's uh, true intent. Wow! It, that was a thing of beauty. It clearly, Validates na well, he's a case of no good with no man. He really wants to get at Mikey. Second gear shift. <clears throat> okay. Mikey's Philippine reference. Para sa akin, no brainer yun, guys, because, well, my home country was mentioned. Alright? Proud Filipino here. Na. Shut up now. Final gear shift was, well, another no-brainer. Mitsuya's fun funeral. Totally sets, up, sets us up for the next episode. And then you guys, road to the finale na, ha? Final three episodes na tayo. So, from this point on, anything can happen. And, pan mukhang panibagong timeline na naman ito, pinasukan ni Takemichi. So, these three gear shifts that I saw, bitin pa sa Tokyo Revengers. <laughs> You really need to watch the entire episode from start to finish to totally understand its story. Plot-wise. The key here was the first gear shift. Yung, 
yung, uh, yung appeal scene ni Isa King. The backstory sequences na, na split screen na pinalalabas, it essentially became explainers. Hindi na, hindi na siya backstory in nature eh. Talagang explainer sequence na siya eh. Kumaga, these backstory sequences are validating the, um, the evil intent Kisaki has for Toman. Therefore, Malinis ang plot, guys. Pabalik yung plot. There are a lot of uses kasi to backstory, to backstory sequences. Eh. Uh, here is the best example. To explain the, uh, the intent of one character. Particularly here. Yan. Uh, old Kisaki is the villain here since season 1. Everybody now knows that he is up to no good. And... Uh, the supposed backstory sequences explains and validates that intent of his. Totally clean plot, guys. Alright? Kasi kung lalagyan pa nila ng medyo irrelevant na side story or backstory to, wala eh. Hindi nyo magigets yung kung gano'ng kasamang tao ang punyetang kisaki na to. It would destroy it. So, pace, flow, and plot Y'all came together for this episode, folks. Talagang Tokyo Revengers ang napanood ko sa episode na to. So, Tokyo Revengers Christmas Showdown Arc, episode 11, no-brainer. Two thumbs up! Eh, ano pa dapat natin hintayin? Eh, di yung next episode na. We just have to wait for the next episode to drop. Eh, sigurado. Based on the final scene, mukhang ba- panibagong timeline na naman itong pinasuka ni Takinichi. So how is he going to, um, how is he going to, uh, explain this to the audience? Or how is he going to, um, how is he going to make this right? In the meantime, watch the other reviews on this playlist, right? Done, you guys. Tokyo Revengers isn't the only anime on this, uh, on this roster. And besides, we're about to close volume 10.